2018 Subaru Crosstrek first drive, tall in stature, short on power. When the first-generation Subaru 15 Crosstrek launched a few years ago, I was skeptical that more ground clearance and fender flares is all it would take to get more buyers. But sell it has. According to Subaru representatives, it's the company's third best-selling line, and is second in the country for compact and subcompact crossover sales, first is the Jeep Renegade. Most Crosstrek sales are in America, 60% of them. So if lifting an Empress can yield such impressive sales results, it's no surprise that Subaru kept the formula the same for the new Crosstrek. The end product is served well by all the improvements to the new generation Impreza, while equally hampered by its issues. One of the few ways the Crosstrek is distinct from the Impreza is on the outside. Though the main body is the same, the front and rear bumpers are a little chunkier, and the front grille is different. It also features the tried and true addition of black plastic fender flares to signal its crossover and dirt road intentions. Every Crosstrek comes standard with roof rails and alloy wheels with a machine finish and black painted accents. Those wheels are available in either 17 or 18 inch varieties. The body sits atop a raised suspension that brings ground clearance up to an impressive 8.7 inches over the Impreza's 5.1 inches. That also matches the Jeep Renegade Trailhawk for clearance. The Crosstrek's fresh bod is propelled by the same 2.0-liter flat 4 as the Impreza, which, at 152 horsepower, makes four more ponies than the old engine. The work remains the same at 145 pound-feet. The engine, which Subaru says is 80% new, is much less coarse and clattery than its predecessor, letting more of the pleasant boxer engine's rumbling noises through. You'll likely hear those noises plenty, because you will need to work the car hard to get anywhere. Just as we found in the Impreza, what power the engine makes is all high in the rev band. And even when you're in the meat of it, it still takes an agonizingly long time to get up to speed. There were a number of overtaking episodes on two-lane roads during the test drive, and each was a nerve-wracking experience. Even with the foot to the floor, the Crosstrek took the tortoise's approach to forward momentum, and I was constantly fearful of a hare coming up the other lane. Brutally slow acceleration isn't particularly out of the ordinary in the subcompact and compact crossover class. The Toyota CHR and Nissan Rogue Sport, among others, are just as slow, if not more so. Still, we wish the Crosstrek had more pep. If Subaru could just stick a small turbo on this engine and bring horsepower into more closer to 200, all these complaints would go away.